Hello everyone, in this video I am going to give a brief introduction about the Code of Civil Procedure 1908 which is commonly known as CPC Act No. 5 of 1908. Before knowing that we have to know about the enactment and commencement date of CPC as this question is mostly asked in the PT exam. So it was enacted on 21st March 1908 and it was came into force on 1st Jan 1909. It contains total 158 sections and 51 orders. And in orders, the longest orders are Order 21, Order 41, Order 5. In Order 21, there are 106 rules. And in Order 41, there are 37 rules. And in Order 5, there are 30 rules. Whereas the smallest orders are Order 50, which contain only one rule. Order 51, which contain only one rule as well. Order 4 which contain 2 rules, Order 25 same contain 2 rules. So before knowing about the concept of CPC, we must understand why CPC is made and what is the intention of making CPC. As we all know that what is the difference between procedural and substantive law. As we know that procedural law tells us the procedure how a remedy can be enforced whereas substantive law tell us the remedy that this is the remedy which has been given but the enforcement is done by the procedural law. So CPC provides us the complementary completeness effectiveness to the substantive law. It tells us how the substantive law can be enforced and how the remedy can be given. If the CPC had not been there then the remedy provided by substantive law would have been redundant, futile, useless.